Hello, family. You're very welcome. It's my pleasure to come and speak with you regarding this matter. I understand how heartbreaking it is to not be able to see your loved one, and I apologize that we're not able to give you this form of closure that seeing your loved one brings. But please be assured that this is the best decision. We have worked long and hard to be able to give you the opportunity to see your loved one, but are sad to say that the damage was so extensive and was beyond repair. We were able to line up parts of the cranium and to help stabilize some of the damage that was done to the cranium and the facial bones, yet that was still not enough. We do not want to shock or add any more emotional stress that you guys are already experiencing um, because we're not able to present your loved one in a way that you all will be familiar with or that's pleasing to your eye. What I do encourage you to is to remember the happy times and to remember those moments um, that you had happy and that you had to spend with your brother because those are truly what will help get you through this hard time. At our funeral home, it's always our desire to be able to give our families the opportunity to see their loved ones and to have closure. But I truly feel that even after all of the restorative work and the time that we've been given into the case, that the best decision is to have a closed casket. The accident um, that was experienced by your brother caused severe amounts of trauma to his cranium and his facial bones. So your cranium is the upper portion of your head while your facial bones is the lower part. Our goal as embalmers and funeral directors is always to help to restore your brother to his natural appearance, to give him an appearance that is as natural of a form and shape as possible. But the trauma that was experienced that your brother has experienced has made that extremely difficult. Some of the things that we have done to try to allow your brother to be seen is we stabilize the cranium. So if you kind of think about it, the cranium is made up of eight bones. It's made up of your frontal bone, your two parietal bones, your occipital bones, um, and a couple and your temporal bones. Um, so one of the first steps that we did was we attempted to stabilize his cranium. And how we did that was we attempted to stabilize it by connecting it with the sutures. So in your head, you have cranial sutures that are made up of fibrous bands of connective tissue, and they have interlocking pieces, kind of like a puzzle. So we used this to stabilize his cranium. And after we stabilized his cranium, that helped to kind of provide um, him with the appropriate form and shape. After we stabilized it, we tried to restructure other components by using what we knew. So example, the foramen magnum, which is a key component of the occipital bone, which is in the back of your head, we use that to kind of help line up and to correctly position the other components. Of com components. Um, even with the schooling and the restorative art techniques that were utilized and that we've been taught, we still were unable to have your brother in a condition that you all will be familiar with seeing, like seeing him in a picture. Not only have I tried with the restoration, but we've also had the other skilled embalmers here at the funeral home to perform their own case analysis to look and see if any other work could be performed or be done. We tried really hard to make being able to view your brother possible, but truly feel that even after all the work and everything that's been put in and the amount of trauma that he sustained, that you all won't be able to, to see him. But I don't want you to look at this as in all hope is lost because there are still many other things that we can do here at the funeral home to help memorialize your brother and to help celebrate his life, and as well as still allow people to come in to pay their respects. While I do recommend having a closed casket, we can still have a funeral service for your brother. So we can still have a funeral service here at the funeral home. And maybe in place of having the visitation, what we'll do is we'll kind of have it set up like a memorial service. So what we can have is we can have the, uh, the casket there, as well as have various picture boards. And these picture boards that we have displayed can show the happy memories and the happy moments and the different happy times that you experience with your brother. Another thing that I know is because he was in a rock band, all of our um, rooms in the funeral home are equipped with television screens. So we can use these for a slideshow presentation, or maybe if you guys have some videos of him performing the drums at his performances, we can use that as well and have those displayed on the screens during the, during the funeral service or as well as during those um, visiting hours. Another thing that I know is because you said your brother was passionate for rock, 
I think that it'd be nice to have his drum set displayed. So if you guys wanted to bring in his drum set, we could maybe have an area in the funeral home with his drum set displayed. As well as just have an easel with a large enlargement of his photo. So one of your favorite photos of him, we could have blown up and have it displayed on the easel. So that people are still able to come and celebrate his life and to celebrate the impact that he had on their life. Um, another suggestion that I have is because you say he played in a rock band, maybe during the visitation we can have some of the music um, that he played with his rock band and we can have that displayed and have it played throughout the service or have it <clears throat> played at the funeral home so people can kind of see a little bit more about him. Again, I'm truly sorry that we won't be able to see your loved one, but I hope that these other alternatives that I gave will still be able to give you an opportunity to be able to celebrate his life, to celebrate his legacy, and still give you an opportunity to just celebrate your brother here, as well as give people the opportunity for closure. Thank you.